and welcome once again to February Highlights here on YHC. We'll be highlighting some local interest stories from around the area. We'll be talking with Dr. Nicholas Thiel, the director of Southeast Missouri State at Malden, talking about their various programs and offerings taking place at the campus at Malden for Southeast Missouri State, as well as Dexter's own Lauren Thrower. She's a very talented young lady and going to be competing in some upcoming pageants and also getting underway with a career in music. She's got a music video out and working on a new song as well, and we'll be featuring her as well, among other segments with area businesses in the area. So a lot to get to, and we hope you enjoy this edition of February Highlights. Bloomfield along with Brock Williams and he's known as the big green egg guy in these parts and uh, you sell the big green egg yes. grills. Yes I do. And how long have you been doing it? Uh, a couple years now. A couple years? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to talk about these big green eggs and they're if you see these things they're very unique. So what's so unique about these things? Uh, well they're basically a barbecue grill um, but they're a little different barbecue grill because not only are they a barbecue grill they're also a smoker. Um, you can use it as basically an oven. Uh, my wife and I, we make pizzas and ours and bread and things like that. Um, they're very versatile. You can use them for about anything. Okay, we're going to have Brock show, show these things off and also some accessories and things to use with them. So uh, they're, they're pretty neat. So let's take a look. Uh, there's five different size eggs they have. Uh, there's a mini, a small, a medium, a large, and an extra large. Um, I've got three of them on display here in the showroom. Um, here's a couple of them right here. Uh, this first one, this is an extra large. This is uh, one that's big enough to cook two 20-pound turkeys. Um, you, can, you can cook a lot of meat on that. Um, the thing about the eggs that, that really make them different is they're made out of ceramic. Um, if you look here on the inside, you can kind of see it. Uh, they're, they're ceramic cookers. Um, that allows them to maintain their heat at a, a sustained temperature for a longer amount of time. I mean, you can put something on there and cook it for you know, 750 degrees to sear a steak, or you can cook it for 24 hours at 200 degrees to smoke a Boston butt. I mean, you can just, it's just very versatile whatever you want to do with it. Um, and then over here we've got the large egg. This is the most popular size egg. Uh, this will cook a 20 pound turkey. You can put a load of burgers on it. You can put steaks, you know, whatever you want to, but it's a more popular size. Um, it, it's good for a, a small family. And if you're going to have larger outings, that's where you'd want an extra large. But with this, it's perfect for just a normal family. Um, the biggest thing on these, the special part that makes them a little different, is this piece right here. This is what's called a plate setter. And uh, what it does is it allows you to cook with indirect heat. And so instead of having uh, your coals right underneath your, whatever you're cooking, that allows it to circulate the heat and you know, keep your sustained temperature more like an oven, where it um, you know, cooks just at where you can smoke and things like that. Um, now behind these, we also have some of the accessories, EGG accessories. Um, we've got different things like um, cookie roast, or we've got different things like chicken roasters, um, pizza pills. Uh, this is probably one of the more popular items. It's uh, what's called Firewire. It's a uh, it's something to use as a skewer, as opposed to like the wooden skewers that you know catch on fire and things like that. It's steel, so it won't catch on fire. And uh, you can use it over and over again, wash it. And uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different accessories that they have. Um, the green egg has really started to branch out on their accessories because uh, you know, there's a market for it. And so they're you know, trying to tap into that market and, and have as many different products as they can come up with. And Brock, if people haven't seen these things, they, they need to come by and see them for themselves. You've got four of them on display here, and they can just uh, get a feel for them themselves. And uh, where can they find you? Uh, they can find us in Bloomfield. We're uh, right behind the on-the-go gas station. Um, I'm actually in my shelter insurance agency offices where we have them all displayed at. Uh, we've got the, the eggs. We've also got the accessories. Um, pretty much anything they sell we've got here. If we don't have it in stock, we can get it really quick. So come by and check them out. Okay. Uh, great showroom he's got here. So you can see for yourself right here in Bloomfield. And we're at the corner of, what, 25 and... Shawnee. Shawnee. Okay. So come by... Uh, Brock's office here, he also is at his shelter office, so you know where his shelter's office, you know where he's at. So come see him, check out these green eggs, they're really neat, come see for yourself. Thanks again, Brock. Thank you. Hey, 
And we're out at Stoddard County Farm Bureau here in Dexter, and I'm along with Edwina Woolard, the president of the Stoddard County Farm Bureau. And Edwina, it's membership month or for the Stoddard County Farm Bureau or for Farm Bureau, Farm Bureau in general. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need all the members we can get. <laughs> sure, and just talk about just a few features of being a member of the Farm Bureau. Well, you get discounts on eyeglasses at certain places. You get a discount on Aerivac and um, international tractors, discount on that, discount off of Ford trucks. So uh, many, many things to go yeah, along with the membership. Too many to uh, mention, too many to, to mention <laughs> but just a few there uh, to highlight uh, membership with Farm Bureau. And of course it goes towards uh, a lot of uh, activities to support farming in the country. Yes, the foundation when we have fundraisers, which is what the truck is, they give scholarships out during the year. Um, a lot, a lot of things they do. Sure, you know, it goes towards a lot of things having to do with uh, the Farm Bureau. And the, what's special about uh, signing up this month is being able to enter for a chance to win a Ford F-150 pickup. It's a 2012, and uh, yes, if you get a membership, we will put your name in for the drawing. It, they'll give it away at the State Fair up at Sedalia. Okay, and that'll take place in August, is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a little bit of time before that takes place, but even if you're not a member, you can stop by the office here and purchase a ticket to enter a chance for, to win that truck. Yes, it's a dollar a ticket. So you can't beat that. <laughs> sure. So uh, those wanting to uh, get a membership, they're already entered. So that just goes along with the membership. But if you're not a member, you can stop by the Stoddard County Farm Bureau office here and uh, purchase raffles towards that truck. And it's, uh, it's a nice one too, Ford F-150, very popular truck. And they'll uh, raffle that off in August. And that's at uh, in Sedalia, is that what you mm -hmm. said? At the State Fair. Okay. And it will be, the truck itself will be here down at the airport on February the 23rd. We're okay. having a farmer breakfast down there. Okay. And we'll have the truck there if they want to look at it. All right, they'll be looking forward to that. So if you're not a member, just come on by the Stoddard County Farm Bureau office. Not hard to find on Hickory Log Drive, just right behind the Hickory Log restaurant here at the Stoddard County Farm Bureau office. And uh, it's a nice chance to win a nice truck, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say about the Farm Bureau organization? It's just real good to belong to it. It helps farmers get their ideas to the government and just works on things that help farmers. Sure, and you can get your membership right here at the Stoddard County Farm Bureau office. Stop by anytime through February in their membership drive. Become a member of the Farm Bureau. And we appreciate your time spending with us and we'll look forward to Sue comes, uh, comes away with that truck in August. Thank you. All right. And now we're along with Lauren Thrower of Dexter. And Lauren, it's good to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here. Sure. And you're quite busy. You've got a lot of things going on. Yes. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about each one of those things that uh, you're currently involved in. And, you know, one thing you're in is the pageants, which we can see now with your yes. crown and sash. Yes. I'm currently Miss Springfield's Outstanding Teen. And I won that on October 6th. And in June, I'm going to compete for Miss Missouri's Outstanding Teen. Okay. So basically the Springfield was the preliminary for the yes, Miss Missouri. Yes, it was. Okay, so uh, it's, that's quite neat. And going up from Miss Missouri Outstanding Team, that's uh, certainly going to be an accomplishment to you know, compete in that. So yes, uh, good, luck, good luck to you in that uh, going forward. And you've been in pageants for a while now, working your way up. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, I have. It's been quite successful as well. Yes, thank you. Um, this pageant, the Miss America system, actually requires a talent. And with my new single and everything coming out, it's really helped me with like confidence, with everything, just singing in front of all those people and it's just wonderful and I love pageants and especially the Miss America system because I get to do it with my talent. Sure. So, so you, of course uh, the singing's what you're doing mm -hmm. and, and the talent so that's good as well. You got the, the new CD, uh, new music video out, uh, Wanna Be, that we'll show in just a moment but you know, you're doing a lot of work with that song as mm -hmm. well as uh, the fundraiser that you're doing with the pageants. Talk a little bit about the yes. fundraising aspect. Okay, well, um, the CDs are, or the DVDs are actually $10 each, and $1 from each um, CD will go to my 
fundraiser CMN for the pageant that I'm competing in. Okay, so. and talk about the CMN a little bit. Okay, well it's called Ch Children's Miracle Network and it's actually the fundraiser for Miss America pageants and it's for terminally ill children and you can go to my Facebook page and I actually have a link to my web page for CMN and you can get on there and you can donate money if you want or you can just come into Dexter Queen, talk to me or my mom and it's really a great cause and we could use all the help that we can get. Sure, yeah, great effort in that regard as well. So uh, a lot of things going on with the pageant, getting ready for that and also doing the fundraising work. Uh, quite busy, you know, with mm -hmm. the, the thing, all the things going on there. And talking about your uh, music video, yeah, a lot a lot went into this. And once you see this, you'll certainly see all the production and everything going along with it. Uh, quite an effort putting this thing together. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was so much fun though. The Walker Brothers are just great. And if you have any kind of talent, like singing, definitely go to them because they are awesome. Sure. Yeah. And they're out of Bernie, right? Mm -hmm. Bernie, mm -hmm. Missouri. Sure. So right here in our backyard. And, uh, you know, talking about this video, it's really neat because you've got things tied in with the school that you go mm -hmm. to, of course, Dexter. And it's really neat when you tie in those local mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. It's a very inspirational song, and I hope I can reach young kids, like, everywhere with it because... It just means so much to me, and I had such a great time making it. So, yeah. <laughs> sure. And you've been working on your singing for quite some time mm, now. Yes. And it's kind of all developed now to where you're producing some songs and now making mm -hmm. a video. So it's really neat. So let's actually take a look at Wannabe, the title of the song, this music video. So let's take a look. You think you know You think you know everything That a beauty queen's all I'll ever be But you got me all wrong Cause what you don't know Is you don't know anything Cause you can't see past what you can't see To what I've known all along Cause I can be Oh, <laughs> 
and you see their great video that was put together and Lauren just talk about what was going into this video what ideas were come up with okay well actually the Walker brothers out of Bernie wrote it for me and about me because they got to get to know me and I told them that I kind of wanted an inspirational song for everybody to listen to and they really did a wonderful job and I don't know I just really hope to touch kids with that song you know because you can be anything that you want to be if you put your mind to it and if you really believe that you can so sure and we saw all the you know images of the Dexter High School mm -hmm. and everything in there so that was really neat seeing it filmed at the Dexter High School yeah that was one of the best parts because I'm always gonna keep that with me you know because it was at my high school and that's just a wonderful memory that I always keep with me so sure and they yeah. did a great job putting all that together and you know the video and audio it, it, it worked well so uh, did a good job in that regard and talking about the you actually got a new single out now mm -hmm, that's yes. just came a little bit different yeah it's slower it's a love song it's called till the day that i die i actually helped co-write it and it's really really pretty if you haven't heard it definitely go download it on itunes so it's really cool there's no video with that one though but okay and we've got a little portion yeah. of that so uh, we'll let you listen to her latest single don't ever doubt I'll be by your side Trust that I'll never leave you behind Put all your fears aside And you're gonna find All you need are these arms of mine You don't have to worry It'll be And another great song. A little change of pace, but that's good. Yes, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so we'll be looking forward to seeing what you come up with in the near future. You're off mm -hmm. to a good start already. Yes, thank you. Just be watching out for my new EP coming out, so. Okay, we'll be looking forward to it. And you got anything else coming up that people might take interest in? Yes, actually on March 17th, I'm having a fundraiser at, at Dexter High School. It's for CMN. And Officer Odell will be coming for the D.A.R.E. program, and I'll be helping her speak. Um, we're having live music. Um, there will be an auction there, so you can donate items or money or anything. And there, there's going to be Team Lauren merchandise if you want to help support me for Miss Missouri's Outstanding Teen. And you can stop by Dexter Queen or just text me anything, and you can donate money or get on my Facebook page and go to my CMN webpage and you can donate money there. It's really a great cause, so we can get all the help that we can get. Okay, we'll be looking forward to that, and good luck with everything going forward. I know you got a, a plate full of things that's uh, gonna be on your agenda, and we wish you the best of luck going forward, well, especially for the uh, Miss Missouri Outstanding Team. That's pretty exciting. Yes, it is, thank you. All right, you, good luck going forward. Thank you. And now we're along with Charles West here in downtown Dexter at Mr. Charlie's. And Charlie, it's been a while since we've been down, but you certainly got some great stuff to show the folks out there. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of new stuff since you were in. Yeah, and you carry some, you know, consistent stuff like the Campbell mattress and, you know, the furniture and things like that. Still got Campbell mattresses. They were celebrating their 80th anniversary. Uh, got a lot of new sofas in. I think I was about out of sofas last time that you were in. Uh, got a few chairs, got a couple Lazy Boy recliners, got, you know, 
Got that jewelry. Mm -hmm. And uh, got a lot of new jewelry. And uh, got Leah. Yeah. Too. Still, still here. <laughs> and the good greeter at the door. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps her eyes on me. She lets me know if anybody's here. Yeah. I'm working out and back while she come and get me. <laughs> yeah, all right. So let's take, uh, take a look around and show everybody what you got. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, Tyler, I want to show you right here. I've got uh, a, a sofa, a matching love seat. has oak trim on it. Beautiful. He, I mean, it's like brand new. It's made by Justice over at Lebanon, Missouri. In between them, there's an antique uh, coffee table. Uh, Inlaid top, probably well over a hundred years old. Uh, that's my dog Leah that just went by there. And I've got several other sofas. I've got a velvet over there, a uh, real nice sofa. Doesn't have a spot on it. Uh, back over this other way over here, uh, I've got a love seat uh, uh, settee and a, a nice stripe uh, beige sofa, neutral color. Uh, well, you can see I've got a uh, uh, leather love seat over there. Uh, all those are nice pieces of furniture. Tyler, the biggest part of our business is still lamps and lampshades. And as you can see, we've got hundreds of lampshades to choose from. And right now we've got lampshades for uh, a lot of lampshades for half price. Uh, just about any type of lampshade that you'd want while we have in stock. Tyler, this is uh, Campbell's 80th anniversary edition. This is a special that they run every year, but this year they've used an inner spring mattress with gel foam in it. This thing is a wonderful bedding. You just, uh, if you have back problems or if you really want a good night's sleep, Gel foam is the way to go, and we have, uh, for the next few weeks, they're running uh, this anniversary special at a super nice price. And, Charlie, it seems like all the time you're getting new stuff in to where people can come by and take a look probably weekly and find something totally different, so it's uh, worth, uh, worth the time to come down and see what you've got. That's right. Just about every weekend I'm at an antique auction or, or a, a state sale. And uh, we appreciate uh, uh, people coming in regularly to check the new, new merchandise on it. Sure. So be sure to come down and see these mattresses. A good deal going on right now with that sale. Next few weeks uh, until they run out of them, I will, we'll be running those. Uh, okay. So be sure to check that out. All the merchandise that Charlie has here at Mr. Charlie's downtown Dexter, right on Stoddard Street. Can't miss it. Just come on downtown and see Charles, and he'll set you up. Thanks again, Charles. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks for coming in. Sure. And we're at the grill in Dexter off of Business 60 along with Robert Lay here. And Robert's got the same stuff going on, good food all the time. Same food all the time, always great. Open up at 5.30 every morning, always home-cooked meals. We're open until 7 o'clock now, every night, except okay. on the weekends. We still close at 3 o'clock. Uh, great specials, lunch plates every day. Uh, grandma's desserts, as always. All right, that's great. And you serve breakfast all day? We do, serve breakfast all day. Uh, matter of fact, we got a big breakfast right here. Come on down, see how we got our country ham, uh, Virginia cured ham, a couple eggs, fried potatoes. Every day it's a great seller. It's delicious. All right, then. For all the folks out there who want to call in and have it delivered, y'all do that as well? We do. Call 614-4013. Also, you can check out a menu. If you don't have our menu, go to www.dextragrill.com. You can see everything we have there. All right. And People need to try out if they haven't before this barbecue you've got. We do, Pigalicious Barbecue. It's uh, hand pulled pork every day, uh, piled high on a sandwich. We do a single sandwich for $3.99. And we also do a basket for about a dollar extra. It's great, absolutely great. Catch us on Saturdays and we got some uh, baby back ribs also. The baby back ribs, I need to try that. That's that uh, pretty good and you won't find them around very often. No, nope, not around here. We uh, got a lot of barbecue but not a lot of baby back. So they're, they're really tasty. Good deal. and. Uh, what else you got going on for people to know about? Uh, well, as always, we got our desserts. Uh, we do a little catering now, so if you got uh, a big get-together, uh, you want to come on down and talk to us, we'd love to uh, cater it out for you. 
a lot of great chicken. We just still have our Cajun Joe's chicken, a little spicy chicken. If you're not into the spice, we can cook it up regular for you. Okay, so great food. You can uh, always count on the grill. Have your, uh, your favorite food here at the grill. Business 60 in Dexter, so come on down, get you a great lunch dinner or even breakfast all day so he's got it all here at the grill and Robert appreciate you spending yes, some time with us anytime and we're now at Gene and Company in downtown Dexter along with Wayne Gene here and Wayne uh, we had a Quite an end to the year here in 2012, and a lot of talk about uh, taxes and the fiscal cliff was the big deal at the end of the year. So, well, what actually transpired from that fiscal cliff? Well, actually, Tyler, we actually went into 2013 before Congress finally got their act together and the president signed that. One thing that uh, transpired out of that is there are a lot of returns that we can't file yet. Uh, there are people, farmers for instance, whose returns are normally due on March 1. We can't file those returns yet because they have depreciation and they also have the domestic production deductions schedules which are not ready by, for the IRS for filing. So farmers returns, we're getting them in, we're going ahead and working on them, but we can't e-file those to the Internal Revenue Service yet because the IRS has not released the forms. Now that causes a problem because farm returns are normally due on March 1st. Now the IRS has extended the due date on farm returns to April 15th because of the IRS's problems. So that does help the farmers. We'll go ahead, we'll get the returns done. We can tell them how much they're going to owe, but we can't actually file them with the IRS for a few more days yet and then they get an extension until April 15th to pay their taxes. Now people that aren't farmers, they still have similar concerns because if you have tuition credits for your children going to college, those schedules are not ready to be filed yet either. So we have people that are used to getting a refund, they get in here early, they're used to getting that refund early, sometime early February. As of today, the 13th, we're still not able to file tuition credit returns. Mm -hmm. So that's supposed to be settled in the next couple of days. We have a list of the schedules that are still not ready for filing with the IRS. And every day or two, there's another return, another schedule that's going to be okay to file. But it does make our job a little more difficult. People don't always understand why. They're normally used to getting their returns, their refunds by the 10th of February. We can't even file them yet. We explain to them the problems. Sometimes some people understand and some people don't understand, but they're not real happy with that. Sure, so people can expect the refunds later this year. For, for many people, it's going to be a week, two weeks, three weeks later. Just depends on when the IRS releases those forms for filing. Okay, yeah. so... Uh, it's going to be quite different this year. A lot, it's going lot, to be a lot different. On. People are sometimes a little edgy when they come in anyway, and now it's going to be a little more so when we tell them your refund is going to be delayed a little bit longer. Okay, so people looking to, to get the returns done here, they just need to stop by. You've got a couple locations here uh, throughout the Boot Hill as well. We're, uh, we're located here at 106 West Stoddard, downtown Dexter. Uh, we've got an office on Laclede Street in Malden and we also have an office on Church Street downtown in Jonesboro. Okay. So we can serve you at any of those locations. Okay, so people can start coming in and start to work towards getting that return filed? Yeah, we'd like for them to go ahead, bring them in as always, then we'll go ahead and get the information ready, get the return ready to go. As Soon as we get the email from the IRS that the forms have been released that we're holding for on, on their individual return, we go ahead and e-file the return in for them. Okay, so uh, a lot of things going on with the taxes and That's accounting, right. so it's That's uh, right. things are changing. <laughs> That's exactly right. Not always for the better, but one thing about it, there's always change in this profession. Sure. And also you provide other services as well. Sure. You know, we do a lot of consulting. We do QuickBooks consulting and, and things like that. We do auditing. We do compilation returns, things like that. So, yeah, we do a lot of other things besides just income tax. Okay, so be sure to come by and see them for all your accounting services that you might need here in Dexter, also Malden and Jonesboro. And Wayne, right. we appreciate your time with us and look forward to seeing you down the road. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate it.
And we're now at the Boot Hill Education Center, the Southeast Missouri State Campus here in Malden. And I'm along with the director, Dr. Nicholas Thiel. And Dr. Thiel, uh, it's awful busy out here. A lot of stu students coming through. We have a lot of students today, especially, and, and uh, we're having a good semester. We're really off to a good start. And we're just finishing up our fourth week of the spring semester, and uh, enrollment uh, is, uh, we always want enrollment to be better than it is, obviously. But enrollment is good, and, and we have a lot of students that I think are working hard uh, to finish their bachelor's degrees. We have a number of students that will be finished a, uh, finishing a bachelor's degree this spring. Okay, so a lot of programs coming on board here. Uh, well, southeast here in Malden, but also it's a good way to get started going that, towards a degree. That's right. We have a, a lot of students that come to us from uh, the communities surrounding the Malden area, uh, some from outside the area as well. Uh, we have students that commute as far as uh, 60 and 70 miles that come here to school. And uh, so we, we try to work with them as best we possibly can with their travel needs because uh, if weather gets bad, we want to make sure that they're safe. But um, we enjoy students from, from all over the region uh, who come here for the smaller campus. Um, we're, we're kind of a unique situation in that uh, everybody knows everyone here. And uh, we get to know our students um, on a first name basis. And I enjoy that in particular because uh, when you work for a university uh, the size of Southeast, um, we have well over 11,000 students all together and I get a chance to work with students on a, a much smaller scale and I enjoy that. I think that's great. You know, Tyler, a lot of our students come to us from schools who um, offer the A-plus scholarship program and we honor the A-plus scholarship here at Southeast Missouri State uh, for their first two years that they want to attend. So that's been a big plus for uh, many of our students to help uh, offset their college costs by doing that. The other thing that I think is um, uh, really great about the Malden campus as well as the other regional campuses is um, our tuition rate is only $125 a credit hour for our incidental fees and um, that's very competitive in the college market. It's uh, less than you would pay on the main campus and uh, we're proud that students get a chance to take advantage of a university education at a, a re really affordable price. Sure and uh, maybe just talk about <laughs> Uh, some of the things that are unique to Southeast here in Malden, you know, talk about scholarships or programs that are available. Sure, we have a number of prog programs, and I don't want to leave anything out, so I wanted to uh, look at this list, uh, Tyler. We have uh, bachelor's degrees in agribusiness, criminal justice, early childhood education, um, three different areas of uh, public education, human environmental studies, psychology. Um, we um, have had uh, a cohort of uh, students here finishing a master's degree in, in school counseling. And um, we have a number of other uh, coursework that we have. We have a lot of students on campus who are finishing their pre-nursing classes as they prepare to apply to the School of Nursing. Um, we have a number of students who are here. Maybe their major is one that we currently don't offer on campus here in Malden but it's one that they'll be able to finish at the main campus in Cape, but they're here to, to, to knock out the first two years. And that works very well for them. They get a chance to finish up uh, some of those basic requirements. They take advantage of their A-plus scholarship, and uh, then they finish up maybe their last year or two on the main campus. So uh, the programs we offer here, I think, are, are uh, high-quality programs. They are the same faculty members that are teaching those classes on campus, the same professors that are there, teach those campus uh, classes here as well. So um, very high quality programs and I'm proud to say that our graduates I think uh, are getting a, a good solid education that employers will recognize. Okay and you talk about those bachelor degrees they're available right here you don't have to go anywhere from all is that right? That's exactly right as a matter of fact this spring in May we will graduate our first group of uh, bachelor's uh, degree agribusiness majors. These are, are uh, some students that started our agribusiness program four years ago when it first came to our campus. And so they'll be graduating and hitting that job market in May. Sure, that, that's great. So uh, that's one unique thing about Southeastern Malden. You can pursue a bachelor's degree right here at Malden. You don't have to leave the Malden campus. And you think about Southeast Missouri State, you think the main campus in Cape Girardeau, and, mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily think you can get it right here locally, but that is the case here. 
uh, Southeast Malden. That's right. We have a number. We also are very proud of our education program. We have a number of new teachers that will be leaving our campus as certified teachers and ready to go into the public schools and the private schools in, our, in the area. And uh, we're very proud of our association with the main campus faculty there because I think we provide a solid group of, of young teachers. And um, uh, I know that uh, many of the school districts in the area will be looking at some of our graduates this spring, and I'm, I'm proud of that. You know, we, we talked some about how we can do so many things here in Malden, and we are proud of that too. But we're also so closely tied to the main campus. Anything that a student on the main campus has access to, our students here at Malden also have access. Uh, so if a student needs to uh, go to Kent Library on campus and access uh, some of the stacks there, they can do that. Their student ID, it gets all the, all the options and all the advantages uh, that any other student ID has. It's the same one. So our students really get uh, a full package. And we have a number of students who will attend uh, athletic events on campus uh, with their student ID. And, and uh, they, of course, uh, they get a, a bookstore discounts occasionally. Um, anything that a student needs from the bookstore, we can, have, we can bring down by courier. So if a student needs, say, a calculator or something that the bookstore has, and they need it right here in Malden, uh, they can just order it here, it'll, it'll arrive the next day by courier, and it just, it's charged to that student's account. So it's very convenient, and um, yet it gives them the, the full access to the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks. And uh, so uh, that's another thing that I think is a real plus about our campus, is because we still get that university environment, and when we want it and we need it, we have that smaller atmosphere that the Malden campus can provide. Sure, that's great. And uh, scholarships, is there anything along those lines? We do. All of our students are eligible for the full scholarship program, the institutional scholarships, just like any student on the main campus. Uh, in addition to that, the people of the Malden area over the years have, have donated money uh, for endowed scholarships. We have over $90,000 worth of local scholarships we give each year. And uh, that's to students who need that you know, to be able to stay in school and make it through school. So if you're a student and you're interested in coming to school uh, at Southeast at Malden, you've got the opportunity to use your A-plus scholarship. Um, you can apply for any of the institutional scholarships offered by the university and the university foundation. We have local uh, Malden campus uh, foundation scholarships as well. Um, we also have a number of students who will bring in a scholarship may be from their local community, from the Kiwanis Club or the Lions Club or, or some group that maybe has sponsored um, scholarships at their local high school. And we accept those as well. So there are just a whole host of those types of things available. Plus, um, if a student is eligible for a Pell Grant, uh, we, we obviously take Pell Grants here with the university. Um, a number of our students have student loans. Obviously, we want to try to get as many scholarships and grants as we possibly can before we access those loans, but we can help a student do that as well. One thing that's really uh, a great boost for us right now, and for the next couple of years, we have kind of a, a one-time deal, if you will. Uh, it's through the Missouri Department of Economic Development, and it was a grant written uh, by Southeast Missouri State University, and it's for agribusiness majors, and it will pay up to $1,500 a semester for agribusiness uh, students to attend here at Malden or at Sykeston or Kennett or any of our campuses. Uh, it it's, um, was done, I think, a joint effort with the Department of Economic Development and the Missouri Department of Agriculture. So we're very proud of that. That's a big boost for us right now. And agribusiness in our area is uh, really taking off. I think a number of companies are looking at Southeast Missouri to locate. We want to make sure that we have the trained workforce for them when they get here. Sure, and of course, agriculture, the you know the main industry here in southeast Missouri. That's right. We're right in the middle of it, and we enjoy some of the best soil in the United States. We enjoy probably the best water table in the United States. We have uh, a good workforce of people who know the land, who who love the land, and they take care of it, and uh, so that's something we emphasize a great deal here. And the Malden campus is uh, very soon going to be a, a hub for the Agriculture Department at Southeast Missouri State. 
and uh, we're working right now on some grants. We're hopeful to build a, a greenhouse soon and add a new big lab uh, entity here on campus where we can do a number of the laboratories right here. Um, and I would re be remiss if I didn't mention our own uh, rice research farm affiliated with Southeast Missouri State and the Mer Missouri Rice Merchandising Council. And Dr. Don Bigley is our resident researcher there. He employs a number of our students on a full-time and part-time basis. And the rice farm is located just west of Malden. And, and uh, we're very proud of that. It's the only rice research farm in the state of Missouri. And it's right here. And uh, students get a chance to see what's going on there. They're developing new varieties and, and doing some pretty exciting um, things there in the area of rice breeding. All right. So a lot of things going on here at Southeast Malden, and if anyone's interested in giving you all a call about some t particular programs or areas of study, how can they reach you all? They can reach us at 573-276-4577, uh, and uh, look us up on the web. It's uh, www.cmo.edu slash Malden, and we'd be glad to visit with you, uh, talk to you about programs. You know, and if we don't have the program that you're interested in, uh, we work very hard to try to help you find the program, whether it's somewhere else within the Southeast Missouri State System or it's another university close by. We want to make sure that your education program is right for you. And so we'll be glad to help you do that anytime you're, you're interested. Okay. Well, Dr. Steele, we appreciate you spending time with us, and hopefully uh, folks out there can get more acquainted with Southeast Malden. Oh, we look forward to it. Thank you. Tyler, thanks for the time. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank you.